I wanted to uh, come to Europe because I know it's a very rich historical place to study about art, to study about culture generally. I started drawing comic in Taiwan back in 2013, I think. So my work is mainly about a fantastic world that I uh, passed into and with uh, materials from the real world around me. There's a group of people who want to do something other than the Japanese style manga. What we went through in 1950s when there was a martial law period when government actually banned comic. They had a law specifically about what you can publish. Taiwanese comic right now is uh, very good at uh, uh, putting up infographics in on so Facebook right now. So when we have uh, some kind of social movement about uh, anything about social issues, people would immediately react on Facebook by putting up uh, uh, infographics with illustration to try to make all the people understand what is going on and try to uh, give across a message about what they care about, what is happening in the society. So I think that's a big part of Taiwan comic scene right now. In Taiwan, young readers, some are prefer digital comics. They, they prefer to see it on smartphone than, than real books. So I try new stuff to let more people to see my works. It's basically my story, my autobiography. When I was young, I started my comic career at street, running from policemen to sell my indie published comic books. It's difficult, yeah, because Taiwan is so next to Japan, and we are used to read manga. When I was young, even even me, I I read may, maybe 90 or I think 100% before my 20s. So at the beginning, we are get used to to read and to draw manga, and you have to to think differently to, to become have your own style. But now I think the situation is much better because of the internet. We could see many other works 